I'm cause a girly dress makes her look like property, MSNBC's Joan Walsh really just went there. I'm cause Trump is too pretty to be a feminist. That's what MSNBC pundit Joan Walsh implied while slamming I'm cause girly dress at the G20 summit. Basically, Walsh suggested Trump cannot be a true feminist because she's not a shrill dried up hag. While true feminism is about women being able to make their own choices about their bodies, their careers, and their appearance Walsh said Ivka's dress sent a frightening message that she's nothing more than her father's property. I don't mean to sound sexist, Walsh told MSNBC host Thomas Roberts. It can be dangerous to comment on what women wear. But the fact that she sat in for her father in a dress that was so incredibly ornamental was such a contradiction in terms. Walsh continued. In patriarchal, authoritarian societies, daughters have great value, they are property. And the message that she's sending about her own value, about her place in the White House, and about the place of women in this administration, is really frightening. Keep in mind that feminists like Joan Walsh are pro-Islam advocates who never criticize the oppressive, misogynistic religion that tells women to cover their hair and wear modest clothing lest they get raped. Walsh said there was something deeply disturbing about Imke Trump, a fashion designer, wearing a girly dress. Ironically, Joan made the remarks while wearing makeup, jewelry and sporting dyed brown hair to make herself look younger. It's a pink dress with big bows on the elbows. There's something incredibly ornamental. That's not a dress that's made for work. That's not a dress that's made to go out in the world and make a difference. That is a dress that is designed to show off your girliness. Show it off. But don't then tell us that you're crusading for an equal place for women at the table, because you're not. The comments were so ridiculous that MSNBC host Thomas Roberts took issue with their sexist, hypocritical tone, news busters noted. So you can't be a feminist and be girly at the same time? He asked. Walsh then tried to walk back her comments a bit. You can be a feminist and be girly, she said. We all have our girly days, but I think showing up, taking your father's a seat in a pink dress with big bows on the sleeves is really an interesting message. Walsh's remarks are so condescending and misguided it's hard to believe they were made by a political pundit on live TV. If they had been made by a man, he would have been fired after being dragged on social media for being a misogynist and a sexist. If Walsh thinks caring about your appearance is so anti-feminist, why doesn't she stop dyeing and styling her hair and wearing makeup? Besides, it's highly doubtful Ivka wants to look like the other hardcore feminists on the left who have become more manly and less attractive the more far left their politics have gone. Just ask Katy Perry, Lena Dunham and Alyssa Milano, who's broke as a joke and didn't pay her taxes, 